Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the differences between working at a startup and working at big tech. For those of you who don't know, I currently am a senior software engineer at Microsoft, but before that, I did used to work at a startup that specialised in RFID technology in the event space. And one thing about working at both a startup and a big tech company is you notice very, very different things. I will say that this is my personal experience and experiences of people that I've worked with before and ex startups that I've seen but they might differ based on your experiences if you've been at both a startup and big tech as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that I think is quite a big difference is learning. And so if you are at a big tech company, you'll notice that the learning is typically a little bit more structured than when working at a startup. So you would typically have training programs provided, you would have learning materials that you have access to, such as LinkedIn Learning or Pluralsight. I know, for example, that I have access to both of those things and I have access to a wealth of different content. And so that's one thing that you would typically get provided for you in a big company. Whereas with a startup, you might find that you have less structured learning and more unstructured hands-on learning. And so that might be that you are thrown into a lot of different things that you have to then figure out so you have access to the various parts of the stack when working with a front end a back end and a database and then all the networking as well that you have to deal with that whereas when you're working in a big tech company and you are coming in as a junior or a mid-level engineer you typically might have a specific focus rather than having so much variety and so it is a little bit more structured I find in a big tech company versus working at a startup. The next thing I'm going to talk about which ties in quite closely with it is the structure element of that. So there typically is a lot more structure when working at a big tech company rather than a, a smaller company and that's just because throughout the years processes will have been defined. So when working at a startup it can be quite common to not have a like Kanban board or anything like that and it's very very free flow and actually the work that gets defined isn't typically like prioritised up front. You might have ever changing priorities day to day to day and whereas when you're working in a big tech company it's a little bit more defined up front. So for for example, we typically have our projects like quite clearly defined for the next at least couple months. Whereas when I was working in a startup, things would change every day. One minute we would be working on a feature and then the next minute that would be scrapped and we'd be working on a new feature. And it meant that like things changed quite quickly and you didn't really know at the time what it is you were developing. You had to do a lot of spikes, you had to do a lot of research. And don't get me wrong, I still have to do a lot of research at the moment for the job that I'm doing, but it's a lot more structured in the way that it comes in. So when you're thinking about a company to join and you're thinking about a startup, think, can I actually handle the ever-changing priorities that are going to be happening in this place? Or is this a little bit too unstructured for me? And when working at a big tech company, ask yourself, do I like that structure? Do I like being given a format of what I need to follow and having tickets broken down and having things to follow? So I typically find that a lot of my mentees that I've worked with struggle with the lack of structure and this is completely normal because when you are learning it's a lot easier to have structure that you can learn from rather than have no idea what you need to do because when you have a little bit of structure you have a bit of information about the architecture you have a bit of information about what it is you need to deliver but when there's no structure at all you have to really rely on the seniors that are in your team to kind of explain it to you and you be to be able to follow along whilst they're explaining it to you and so that's just something to to think about if you are thinking about joining a startup versus joining big tech. The next thing to think about is salary. And so one thing that you will find with startups versus big tech is the salary is typically quite a lot lower than a big tech company does. And that is because of budgets, 
they just don't have the budget, whereas a big tech company typically has a lot more budget. So there is a significant difference in salary ranges. For example, for myself, I was a lead engineer at the startup that I was at, and when I left to join Microsoft, I took a much lower title. So I went from a lead engineer to a software engineer too, and I got a 40% pay rise. And so that just shows you the significant differences in salary ranges. And now that I have been promoted to a senior, my salary is actually double what it was a year and a half ago when I left the previous company that I was at. So that just gives you an idea of the differences in salary. It is quite a significant jump, but that might just be the fact that I am currently on a London-based salary as well. The next thing we're going to be talking about is the benefits. And so with big tech, the benefits are quite good. So you do get a lot of benefits in terms of stock options. You get a lot of benefits in terms of like flexible working, I guess you would say. You get a lot of benefits with things like maternity, at least for the big tech company that I'm at. And there's a lot of different benefits such as networking and things like that and so that's a really really big benefit of working at a big company whereas with the startup the benefits will typically be less in terms of stock you might have stock and it might take off really really well but then it might also not take off as well a lot of startups fail in the first few years and so that's just something to consider however you do get quite a lot of benefits sometimes when it comes to things like events and going places because i know that startups that i've seen are a lot more happy to do events and fly their, their team out because it is a little bit more easier in terms of costings and so having events like for example when I was in my startup I would went to America for five days and we did an event in America and they also flew them out to I think it was called Ocean Beach it was it's like an event in Ibiza because there was an event there as well so the benefits are different and it all really depends on where you are at in life and what the benefits are that you prefer so I definitely recommend just like always asking what the benefits are if there is any opportunities for going different places one really really interesting benefit for me and something that i never really considered before is just like having meals out like as a team so that's not a big thing at microsoft we don't really go out very much as a team or as a department so we didn't really have a christmas party for example but then when i was in my old company those things were very normal and that happened quite a lot so the benefits are definitely different and you just need to weigh them up on what you prefer i know i like money so i'm happy with that the next thing i want to talk about is balance i think this is probably the biggest negative for me at, from working at a startup it's just that there is a lot less work-life balance that you get from working at a startup there's a lot of expectations on you to constantly be doing and constantly available so for example we often had to do like weekend on call or weekend support as software engineers because there wasn't really a third line support team or anything like that and so we were the third line support and so there was a lot of doing that there was a lot of late hours getting that done and you typically didn't really get much time back because you did get time off in lieu you did but you didn't get any extra money for doing those weekends and you had to give a lot of your time up that wasn't necessarily the time that you wanted to give up and typically because I was one of the more senior engineers there I had to do that quite a lot because basically I could handle the entire stack and debug and get the information I needed if there was anything that went wrong during an event so that's just something to consider at a big tech company there is a really really good work and life balance and so you get a lot of free time to do the things that you want to do you get a lot of free time for learning as well as you do your projects the projects do have high expectations in terms of what they want to achieve out of them they have a lot of high impact but as long as you get the things that you need to get done for that project you're good to go the last thing we're going to be talking about is growth so the scale of growth that you typically get in a big tech company versus in a startup differs quite a lot so in terms of growing at a big tech company it can take quite a while to get from a like software engineer entry level to a principal engineer to be beyond that whereas if you're working at a startup it can be relatively easy to go from a like mid entry level mid-level engineer and move your way up much quicker 
And just the reason is that is because as the company grows, you get the chance to grow as well. So startups that do well typically manage to grow quite quickly. And as they grow, new roles will um, appear that you can apply for and you'll be able to fill those roles. Whereas with a big tech company, I think those roles just typically don't come available as often. And so the chance for promotion and opportunity just aren't there. As well as that, because you are learning the full stack, like we mentioned, mentioned in the first point, it means that you learn a lot quicker in those things. One thing to bear in mind is you might not always learn things the best way because you are learning quite quickly and a lot of times in my experience with startups is that you have to make a lot of intentional and technical debt decisions in order to get your product out. So to summarise really, I would say it depends on where you're at in life. So if you are someone who wants to find a better work-life balance, then maybe a startup isn't necessarily the right thing for you because it does have a lot of expectations on your time. And a company such as a big tech company might have less of those expectations on you. Whereas if you are wanting to grow as an engineer and learn really, really quickly, then a startup might be the perfect opportunity for you. And that's all from me today. If you like this video, please can you give it a like and subscribe. I post weekly content on my YouTube and on my blog and I also post daily content on my LinkedIn. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.